Hi, can I complain about something really stupid real quick? You see this? It says Mott's Assorted Fruits, okay? Do you see that? That is a carrot. Oh, who let that happen? Yep, that's me. Hello, beautiful bookish people. My name is Hannah, and I love TikTok. I'm sorry, come on. My dog's right here. It's because I'm eating gummies that you want to be with me. I know it. But today, I thought it would be a cool idea to recommend you 10 books based on the last 10 TikToks that I liked. And we're going purely off the cuff, which could be a little dangerous. But with that being said, I think we should jump into the first TikTok. Brand new Lamborghini, I'm a cop car. Have you ever met a something something rock star? This isn't a guitar, it's a Glock. Something 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 boom clap yeah ooh yeah. <laughs> um, I love dog videos. <laughs> I think I'm like a mom on TikTok because I am a cuss baby, which means I mean I was born in '97, so I don't know if I'm a millennial or I'm a Gen Z. So like I have TikTok, but I don't post on TikTok. You see my dilemma? So that means. I just have a lot of dog videos that I like, which is fine, perfectly acceptable. So it's dog, and there's clearly somebody being the puppet master behind them, making them do this TikTok dance. So, you know who also is the puppet master of other characters in this story? Prospero in The Tempest. <laughs> So, The Tempest is um, about this guy, and he gets banished from the kingdom, and it's Shakespeare's last work, so a lot of scholars say that it's Shakespeare saying goodbye to the stage and or the theater. And so, Prospero, as a character, is seen as Shakespeare, so he's controlling this whole story as a puppet master. Essentially, I'm not gonna lie, The Tempest is my favorite play. This is off to a good start. <laughs> Now we never heard it on the best time. Most stuff. I don't know why this TikTok was so funny to me. <laughs> because it's just a girl recreating a trend but without actually using the sound. And like whenever I think of this trend, that's how my mind is. Like, I don't know when you're on a bus stop. Think of. So she's being creative. Um, she's reimagining the trend of something that's already a standard. <laughs> I'm gonna recommend you Wilder Girls because it's some people say it's a retelling of Lord of the Flies and I have to agree and in the song there's like oh she's gonna burst a blood vessel and there's a lot of gore in Wilder Girls there you go next thank you next <laughs> I told you I'm a mom on TikTok I love dog videos on it i know Aww. so it's just like of an owner throwing um a toy onto the couch and him just diving full force into it okay let's reimagine this for a second imagine imagine that this is an author and trash for their books and anything they publish i'm gonna dive full in for it no matter what who is that author who am i trash for um, Maggie Steve Otter. It's true. I will read any Maggie Steve Otter book. So the next TikTok. I love old women on TikTok as well. I don't know what it says about me, but it's true. Maybe, like, this could be interpreted as, like, ooh, I was really intrigued by the, the book. I was bopping my head to it, and then just something happened, and I'm all in. <laughs> Stop yawning. This is an important video. How dare you? So that, I will say, you should see me in a crowd, is giving me that exact same motions as I'm reading it. I read, like, 100 pages last night, and I was all in when the grandpa was watching Jeopardy and shouting out the wrong answers. Also, she lives with her grandparents. That was fate. 
that was Destiny and you're not telling me anything else. You should read, you should see me in a crowd. Wow, we are cooking things off perfectly. One of my favorite activities is to go running really late at night in, in a tie-dye shirt. And as, I'm, as I run by, people just give them a little, you know? Because if you run by a guy in tie-dye shirt and he gives you a little, that's just going to make your day. <laughs> I don't know why that video gave me so much joy. I just loved his vibe. He seemed like he had good energy. But now that I'm thinking about it, that is Levi from Fangirl. He's just chilling, he's vibing, and he's making sure that you're having a good day by giving you all the hand signals, all the free coffee from his Starbucks job. Fangirl. You should read Fangirl. He also seems like he's a granola guy, though. And I don't think Levi was a granola guy, per se. But what just has, like, good vibes? What's just wholesome fun? What is just wholesome fun? I'm looking at my contemporary shelf right now. You could read The Unexpected Everything for just wholesome fun. There's not necessarily a guy that's, like, this kind of energy. But he's a nerdy writer. And the friend group is really wholesome, I would say. That it's probably going to make your day at the end of it. It's quite long, but it's filled with text messages, so you can get through it fast. It's fine. Watermelon sugar, hi! Watermelon sugar, hi! Watermelon sugar, hi! Watermelon sugar, hi! I'm so embarrassed! So, this is from S. 6M whatever band they're the like alternative side of TikTok and people like them because they want to save one of the brothers you saw him in the background his name's Adam you know how you follow people like ironically like it's so bad that it's good and like they're clearly they have to be a homeschooled Christian band like I can feel it in my soul like those are my origins and I can spot them a mile away so maybe what is something that I only like in an ironic way? Something that I know is bad but still brings me an immense sort of joy? I want to say Twilight, but you guys already know I love Twilight, so like what's the point, you know what I mean? She is very gorgeous to me! I'll say Delirium. I loved that series when it was coming out and I read them. But like, I can acknowledge <gasps> the faults in them. Also, Uglies is the same way. I, c I love it for a nostalgia factor. I wouldn't say it's in an ironic way. I just know, probably now if I reread it, it wouldn't be the best thing in the world. Both of those have love triangles in them and kind of weird ones. But yeah, I wanna say Delirium and Uglies. If you are ever craving like, a bad dystopia, angsty teen romance. Either of those books will work for you. I met him in Chalamet. That's Timmy the Chalamet. Okay. <laughs> That's a great TikTok. So it's this girl, and she thinks she's met Timothy Chalamet. She's clearly not in the right headspace, and this guy's like not knowing what's happening so there's a sense of like misunderstanding miscommunication in a light-hearted fun kind of way she wishes he was another boy and he's not you could also read yes i still love you for that exact kind of feeling um miscommunication um wishing she ended up with a different boy not gonna lie set in a humorous setting because Lauren Jean is clearly not in her right state of mind for the fact that she chose somebody else over the one I wanted. Gay Steven, I know looks can be deceiving but I might have seen a light in you. <laughs> <laughs> um, first things first, I love Taylor Swift. Um, the fact that she reimagined a little bit of a Taylor Swift song, perfect, and she forgot the words, comedic genius. Um, it's so funny to me. And if you liked this TikTok, I think you should read Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe because Dante is a sweetie pie and definitely would do something like that for Ari. Sing for him, draw for him, anything like that if it brought Ari joy, Dante would do it for him. 
as of right now i'm just recommending you my favorite books and i'm not mad about it so it should be using tiktok to recommend you my favorite books this isn't bad looking i'm telling you know i'm shaped like a fucking beanbag he's not <laughs> you're not i'm shaped like a love seat <laughs> people should love you you're good looking I'm telling you now i'm into bdsm <laughs> That feels like it should be in a sitcom, right? It's so funny. He goes, people should love ya. And now that I'm thinking about it, this is the plot of normal people. <laughs> uh, by Sally Rooney. Um, just constant miscommunication, talking about love, um, the disproportions of one's body, and sex. Wow, I did not expect that to fit so well into this recommendation but truly 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 if you liked that tiktok please read normal people by sally rooney because it somehow fits perfectly my mama said you could stay but you gotta come to church with us in the morning <laughs> the amount of times i've had that conversation with my friends when i was younger i don't is this a correct use of the word is astronomical i'll have to look it up my mama says you can sleep over but you gotta come to church with us tomorrow you should read if you like that tiktok little do we know by tamara ireland stone which follows two girls one named hannah who's a church girl um and her friend emery um as kind of miscommunication goes and um they both fall in love with boys so 100% Hannah has had that conversation with Emery like you can sleep over but since my dad's the pastor you gotta come to church with us tomorrow and also that book has a great discussion of um, religion and sometimes the misuse of power um, within a church setting that people can have I it's one of my favorite books I loved it and I would highly recommend that book wow I can't believe those last two fit so well I'm living, I'm thriving, um, TikTok is my new obsession, it's giving me ideas, it's giving me inspiration, TikTok is my muse. That kind of concludes this video, I hope you liked it, let me know if you would want to see more of these, because that was truly, um, so much fun, um, but thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Keep reading, and all that jazz. <laughs>